Hey there guys, I tried to perfect score the Unalaska fight on my newbie account a few times. The issue I'm running into is basically killers. Killers are quite challenging for a new account and because of that I'm coming up a little bit short on that. So I'm going to do a change of pace. I'm going to go in on my usual account and we're going to really showcase how powerful gear is in this game. With decent gear we are going to have a single DPS solo cap this fight. Olive is going to deal 10.7 billion or better all by herself with a brigade, brigade of support units. So let's go in here and do a perfect score with only Olive so I can demonstrate that gear is such a dramatic power shift. Not having all these good killers is a problem. So here's the ambush. The whole party is wearing Thunder Resist. Um, and uh, even Olive is wearing Thunder Resist in her DPS form because, you know, SLB. Doesn't matter. We're still going to cap. So there we go. We go ahead and get her LB so we can start unlocking her focus ability. We're going to use Lena to just use her Magnus to refill her LB gauge. Yuna can just guard. Um, we need Louise and Yoshi to do Ionic and the other skill to start filling LB gauge for our Olive. Uh, we can just guard Leftia and Yoshi can triple finishing combo. So we can fill Olive's LB gauge a little bit quicker. Uh, this is just to speed it up a little bit. You know, you don't have to kill the boss as quickly as I am, but, you know, we need to, so whatever. The boss does counterattack with blind and all that. We don't really care. Yoshi's our provoker. Again, that's fine. Um, Yoshi can just do some, uh, let's see, finishing combos yet again. Fill up the LB gauge. Didn't get it. That's fine. We'll go ahead and triple Ionic, and we'll do a disarming for a nice gun in peril. That filled up Olive, so wait for this to finish. I want to do all the damage on the burst turn. Okay, let's go ahead and do Olive's LB again. Now her focus ability is unlocked. Leftia is going to use Elemental Power Focus on Olive. That's a 100% Fire Amplify. Lena will do her base form LB. That's a Fire and Peril Field. And Yuna can just guard again. Okay. Blind attacks, all that, don't care. More single target stuff, a thunder nuke on our provoker. It is a big thunder in peril, so in order to deal with that, we're gonna have our Lena do a Rage Beast Roar on Yoshi to dispel that in peril. Um, we're gonna use Leftia to eye drop our Olive because she did get blinded. We're not wearing blind gear, that's fine. Let's go to the base form with our Louise, and let's go ahead and Magnus. Let's do Fire Starter and then it doesn't really matter what else. Let's fire starter, Magnus, power, and tactical. Literally, who cares? Yuna will give us some resistance gear. We're going to do water and thunder resist because this turn we're going to be getting a fixed attack that um, ignores uh, cover and evade and all that. Yoshi will do human killer on Olive with BA BA start. Uh, Olive will get ready for next turns. So we'll just break, break. We'll do fire imbue, melons, and giant fire cannon which gives a big fire in peril and a nice focus buff. Okay, so let's, uh, here's the AOE attack. We're wearing, we're wearing some resistance gear, so we don't really care about that, whatever. No damage, perfect. Okay, now it is time to kill. So we still need undead killer, so we're gonna do the base form LB of Yuna for an undead killer. Lena is not contributing this turn, she can just literally guard. Leftia is going to extreme Nova with our Olive for support chaining. And because we need the chain count score, Yoshi will just quad Ferrega, along with Louise, who will just quad Ionic Fire Blaster. So we're going to send our chain builders first to build the chain, then we'll send the actual DPS of Olive. So we'll go ahead and send these guys, wait for the chain to build a little bit. That should be good. Send our Extreme Nova guys, and there we go. And while we're chaining, we'll look at Olive's magic stat with focus, 16,665 magic focus is a hell of a drug okay so there we go the only dps of this whole party was olive i'll show you the gear in a moment um the whole party is basically naked except for resistance gear so we don't die to the ambush and we did 13.2 billion damage we overcapped by 2 billion with one unit that is the dramatic, dramatic power shift that gear makes. And it, that is the struggle I am dealing with on this, like, newbie account project I'm doing is not having gear. Units are... I'm actually doing good on units 
with my newer account. Yeah, units are not a problem, but gear is the biggest struggle bus, and that is causing problems here. So yeah, when you have good gear, like you can do anything. And there's a perfect score with just an olive. Just an olive! A well-geared olive. That is the big disclaimer. So let me go ahead and show you the gear that I was talking about. So the rest of the party, first of all, Yuna is just wearing a little bit of thunder and water resist. That is literally it. She is here for one reason and one reason only. Reaper Killer, 160 Reaper Killer, and she's also oh well, she also does resistance gear for the attack on turn um, on turn two or turn three. One of the attacks she does some resistance resistance buffs. Louise is for uh, fire field and gun in peril. Are there in that? Phil LB gauge, yeah, just like a whole support team, um, not geared for damage, literally whatever, just enough to survive the ambush. Yoshi is using flame rep flame whip replica because it gives chaos wave awaken frames. Uh, other than that, passive provoke evasion, quad cast for chaining, um, and he does BA start, which is a buff, a 400 buff, 300 LB, and 200 human killer. So that's his his role in the fight. Lena, literally here just to dispel the imperil and toss a, toss an eye drop, as well as her field, which is a 25% fire imperil field. Leftia is for jet black silk ribbons. You get this from story mode. It gives you a um, uh, where is it? Right here. A 100% fire amplify, single target only, but who cares because we're a single target single target team, or single unit team. Um, and there it is, that's 100% amplify. That's literally all she does. Uh, and I gave her extreme Nova to support chain with a fire weapon, and she drops an eye drop on Olive who gets blinded. Here's our Olive. Now mine is very, very well geared, which as I've mentioned five times at this point, that is... That is, that is the game changer, having good gear. So here's the gear, maxed LB damage. Um, I, think, I think maxed killers, uh, hit the card from her banner because it gives more damage early, early fight. Um, 100 lightning resist so that we can have, this is, this is while wearing resistance gear. She is still, so she is still max capping. Uh, maxed human, maxed LB and 275 reaper, a tiny bit low on reaper killer. Also, Espers. The Assurer Esper is huge for this fight because the Assurer Esper adds, for those that don't know, you know, a maxed out Assurer Esper adds, um, uh, where is it? Okay, it's easier to see. Hold on, right here. Well, right here. Uh, she adds 30 Thunder Resist, which helps out with gearing, and she adds, well, a bunch of Human Killer and Undead Killer. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to show it in-game, I guess. Anyway, there was the Solo Cap Olive Clear, um, for your enjoyment and now i guess i'll go back to trying to get some killer materials and espers on my newbie account and i really i really want to cap this on the newbie account but yeah when, when i gear the team it's like i've got like 125 and 50 killer or something on like all the dps and it's it's not quite enough anyway hope that was enjoyable see you in a bit